So I took five grams of mushrooms and it didn't really go the way I thought it was gonna go. And I wanna try to explain that because like, I don't know, I guess I was just expecting to like dive deep into the psychedelic world or to like um, travel dimensions or go through the DMT space or whatever, but that didn't really happen. What happened was I was laying there, so I ended up laying, took the mushrooms, got everything prepared, had the frequency playing, like, at 432 hertz and all this other stuff, and, you know, and then I basically got the blindfold, and I laid there for about, like, two and a half hours, but when I was laying there, it was almost like having a therapy session, and, like, working through some of the pieces that were missing of me like I don't like I don't know how to explain it because it was a really different type of trip like it wasn't the same type of trip that I'm used to because so I took capsule ayahuasca in 2018 right so during that experience for the first like hour it was like I was having a therapy session with mother ayahuasca and like it was like I was having a therapy session working through all these things working through my problems I was going through something serious at the time and by the end of it like it just helped me get through that serious thing that I was going through at the time but I wasn't really going any through anything besides like I went through the breakup like a year and a half ago like shit almost two years ago so because I went through that, like, so long ago, I was like, I'm good. But there is some change that's happened in my life. Some things, and uh, it's like the change is good. And I kind of got the, the sense of this whole thing that, like, I finally picked up the pieces to myself. So now it's like I'm finally me again. Like, after that trip, I'm finally me again, whatever the fuck that means. Like, I feel like I dropped my ego and just left it at the in the thing. And when I came back, like, after that two and a half hours, you know, because it wasn't like traveling dimensions. I didn't necessarily see the DMT vortex. Like, I did see things behind my eyes. It was like, but like I said, it was different. Like... It was more like flashes of like, um, like senses. Like, you know how like you can get a sense? Like if, if somebody's watching you, you can kind of sense that somebody's watching you. Or if like, um, you can smell if somebody's, uh, you know, grilling outside, like using their grill, you can smell it. Um, so it was like the vision, the things I was seeing was like being mixed with the senses. So it's like, even though my eyes were closed and the frequency is just plain, so it's like, it wasn't silent, but it was silent because it wasn't like loud, but like, so the frequency was just playing in the background and so, you know, I'm just laying there and... It was like I started like flashing through things, but these flashes were like, you know how like you can get a brief whiff of something? Like if somebody rides through their car and they're smoking weed in their car, you can briefly smell it as they ride past, but then you're like, oh, that's gone. Or if you're walking somewhere and you're like, oh, I smell weed, what's that? Like, but then you're like, oh man, it's gone. Like, it was like that. Like, that's how the visions or how the things were coming. And, like, these flashes of some sort. Where it's like you get a brief whiff of it. But it was almost like, I say whiff, because it's almost like I could smell what I was seeing. Or, like, I don't know. It's complicated. Because it was so much different than I thought it was going to be.
like, I thought it was going to be, like, I don't know, like, ayahuasca was, or, you know, because the ayahuasca got intense. Like, when I took ayahuasca, um, captured ayahuasca, like, I was laying on the floor, and, like, right at the hour 20 mark, right about, it's like, if I felt like the floor dropped, and, and like, it became water, and it's like, I started, I, like, fell into it, and then as I'm trying to get back up, it's like, it became ice, like, if somebody fell through ice, and then they're beating on the ice, and they're trying to break out, but they can't, like, that's what started the trip, and I mean, it sounds intense, but it was intense, but it was a beautiful thing, though. Um, so I was thinking something like that. I guess it's like, you know, you don't get what you want, you get what you need. And like, I thought that I was going to get that. I thought I was going to get this epic traveling space and time and alien planets and you know um and no I got this thing where it's like I worked through my mind I worked through the fact that I beat a lot of my mental health issues over this past year I worked through the fact that like I'm working through my shit in life and like I worked through the fact of being able to let things go and let things come and let things go. Like, I don't know. Like, life is just this weird thing. Like, I found out my ex might uh, have a new boyfriend and I was genuinely happy for her when I found out. Like, I'm still, like, I'm genuinely, like, I was like, fuck yeah. That's beautiful. Like, I feel like something has been lifted from me. This, like, haze of ego, this, I don't know. But it's beautiful. It's dope. And I'd rather come out of the trip feeling like a new man then just come out of the trip saying I traveled space and time and dimensions. Because, like, yeah, I don't know. It was beautiful. I'm definitely interested to maybe try seven grams of mushrooms, though, see if that can take me to this DMT space. But, um, but, nah, that was, uh, muchly needed. Because, like, it was something that I you just can't get from LSD, like, almost like a guide, or something, something there with you, working through your shit, like, it's not like I've seen any entities, I didn't, like, and if I heard it, it was like, a mix between visions becoming language, and, but these visions being, like whiffs, like brief things as I'm seeing them and like becoming them and like, yeah, I don't know. But thank y'all for watching. That's really all I can say about it. Cause like, it's too, it was too different of a trip to the point where I'm like, I don't really have much to say about it besides I'm glad I went through that. Because I didn't realize that there was pieces of me missing. Like like a puzzle that was missing some pieces. And it's like it gave me the missing pieces. Much love, everybody.